Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of pretty interesting bodybuilding updates ahead of Texas Pro and a couple of other Olympia qualifiers. First, we're gonna start with Carlos Thomas Jr., and I'm sure you already saw this video of Carlos hitting a couple of poses. In this video he looks huge, he looks freaking insane, but he does not look conditioned, and of course this was an old video, but I get it, it was very misleading, the guy that posted this video in the caption he said we are officially one week out from Texas Pro, and that was the whole caption, so of course people were confused, because he looked more conditioned at that guest posing, which was I believe two weeks out of Texas Pro, and now he looks less conditioned in this video than he did it two weeks out, but no, once again it was an older video, now the guy changed the caption, he says five weeks ago, so this was like five or six weeks ago, this is not recent, I mean he does look pretty insane, let's check this video out once again, because you can see how big Carlos Thomas actually is in this video, you can see that he is freaking humongous, look at that freaking arm, look at that tricep, god, and those freaking legs, it's it's crazy, chest is also really full, uh, the V-taper is amazing as well, so yeah, I hope he's gonna bring conditioning, I don't know yet, it seems like he's not going to, based on a more recent physique update. So he posted this story in which he explains that the video that you just watched is an older video from like 5-6 uh, weeks ago, and he says in the next story you're gonna see something more recent. So here you go, this is a more recent physique update of Carlos Thomas Jr. Now we don't know if this is from today, he just said in that video, in that story, that it is a more recent video. I am guessing it's newer than his guest posing, because why would he even post this? Why would he say, here is an update of my physique? He already updated us when he did a guest posing, and how many it was guys, remind me, two or three weeks out? So we already knew what he looked like at that point, then why would we need an update from 4 weeks out, it doesn't make any sense, so I'm guessing this is, in fact, like 1 or 2 weeks out, whoever posted this story said uh, he's just days out uh, from Texas Pro, which is true, he is days out, but he doesn't say that this photo is from a couple of days out, he doesn't specify that this is him right now. And also, I don't wanna believe that this is actually from a couple of days out of Texas Pro, because his conditioning is not, I, I wouldn't say it's phenomenal, I mean, the, the quality of the photo is not very good, maybe he looks better in person, maybe if the photo quality was better you would see more separation, more details, maybe he would look harder, I don't know man, but I'm looking at those glutes and they usually tell us how conditioned somebody is, and he doesn't really look super dry, super separated, super grainy in that area, I mean you would say, you could say that his chest and his shoulders and his arms, maybe even his hamstrings and let's say his side leg looks okay, but those glutes are worrying me, there are maybe two or three visible lines, which is usually what you can see on guys, on these professional bodybuilders, the open guys, you can see this kind of conditioning in the glutes in the off season, in most cases probably even better than this, or at least similar, so this is not top notch conditioning, definitely not, so I hope that this is actually older, I hope that this is like, I don't know, two days after a cheat meal, so he's watery, I mean, I'm being super optimistic here, guys, I mean, I hope this is actually not recent, maybe he's just messing with us and his competitors, maybe he's playing mind games, who knows, that's also a possibility, this could be an older photo, but if this is right now, then yeah, I don't think he's gonna, I, I, I'm sure he's not gonna beat Hunter and most likely not Andrew Jacked, no, no, I want to see this guy at his absolute best conditioning wise, and that's why I would hate if this is actually recent, but this is what we got, this is what he posted, whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below, do you think this is actually recent, and do you think he could actually pull a win with this kind of condition, if this was recent? Alright, next up we got a physique update of Hunter Labrada, who is in fact a couple of days out of Texas Pro in this video, it's a full posing video, we're gonna watch it in a moment, before we get to that I just wanna point out the way his stomach looks right now, 
Look at this vacuum. This is a proper vacuum. Now he's doing it well. Maybe he's only able to do it now because he depleted himself, he didn't eat a lot of food, and he wasn't able to pull it properly on the stage because he was too stuffed with a lot of food, I don't know. But here, it does look much better, for sure. You're gonna watch the entire posing video, you're gonna see what his stomach looks like in the transitions, in other poses, but here the vacuum, at least, looks good. Overall, I think he is very depleted, very flat, I am worried a little bit that he may have lost some of that fullness that he won't be able to get back. If he looks like this on a Wednesday, a couple of days before Texas, I don't know. I don't know, man, because here he looks much smaller, much flatter than he looked a couple of days out of Tampa. But the caption of this uh, video, of this post, uh, really makes me feel confident about Hunter, because look at what he says in the caption. He says, I woke up like this, excited to start eating and dialing it a day. The starting point is significantly better than Tampa. Okay. He goes on to say how confident he is in his new peak week and how much he enjoys the process, being that the show is happening uh, at home, at Texas. He says there is no stress, and I get that, like, there is no pressure. He already qualified for the Mr. Olympia. He doesn't have to worry about anything, he just needs to enjoy this process, enjoy bodybuilding, you know, enjoy competing, that's true. But if you talk about whether he's gonna win Texas Pro, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I could see that his conditioning is even improved. Look at his back, look at the details, look at the Christmas tree, and like the glute separation, the hamstrings, look at the freaking back, like it's all freaking carved out. So yeah, he's definitely very, very dry at this point, uh, I hope that he's only depleted, that once he fills out, he's gonna look as big as he looked at Tampa, because in some of these poses, he looked smaller to me, he looked flatter, so I don't know, I mean, especially in the side poses, uh, side, look at the chest, in the side, especially on the side chest, but here in the side tries, you can see it kind of as well. Look at the lag from the side, it's not very massive, it's definitely much smaller. But once again, I know he's depleted, I know he's gonna start carping up soon, and that's probably all, that's probably it. Now, as far as the stomach issue, I mean, yeah, I think he's controlling it a little better here, uh, but it's still not looking very good. I can't say this is a good looking stomach. This is definitely not a good-looking midsection. Andrew Jack is gonna blow him away in that department. He definitely has a much prettier midsection, much, much more developed and controllable and, like, symmetrical and good-looking abs, you know? And Hunter, not really. Look at the chest here. It's, it's very flat, right? But, I mean, yeah, if he carves up properly and after that carb up, he looks fuller and bigger. And if his midsection is fine, if it is okay... It's not gonna look good, I mean, it's definitely not comparable to that of Andrew Jacked, not even close. Uh, I think Andrew, he was okay with midsection before, but uh, he kind of messed it up this prep. But everything else is significantly better, and I probably do still have him uh, as my favorite to win this show. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm cheering for him, I'm rooting for Andrew Jacked probably, because... That's the kind of physique that I prefer, that I like, you know, taller guys with more aesthetic shape. I'm sure most of you guys feel the same, but let's be realistic. I think Hunter just has a better chance. He already beat Andrew at Mr. Olympia. Neither one of them was at their best, however, Hunter prevailed. And now he significantly improved, aside from the midsection, uh, but he's much better. He already proved to us uh, two weeks ago that he can bring conditioning, that his back is improved, stuff like that. So, yeah, he's probably the safest bet. But we'll see, maybe Andrew surprises us all. However, right now, I still do have Hunter as the guy that's probably gonna win Texas. What do you guys think? Unfortunately, we're not gonna be watching Blessing of Wadibu at Texas Pro. I already talked about this in my previous videos. He really doesn't have anything to look for at Texas because there is no way he can win that show unless everybody else shows up completely off. Because no matter how conditioned he is, he still doesn't have legs, you know, and these guys, they are like top 7 and top 8 Olympia material, and that's when they are off, right? When they are on, Hunter was 4th, had a Mr. Olympia, and Andrew was 3rd at the Arnold Classic, so these guys are definitely much higher caliber than Blessing of Oribu. Uh, he couldn't really hang with them, he would probably be battling for that 3rd or 4th spot, and what is the point of doing that? I mean, this guy won New York Pro and Indie Pro. He's a pro show winner. He's an Olympian. 
and he talks about you know beating Nick Walker and stuff like that, then why would he go to the show to battle for fourth spot, right? It really doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're gonna be seeing this guy on stage, he's working hard on improving his conditioning that was really off at Chicago, and as you can see, it's definitely much, much improved, and he already looks better, he looks more impressive, he looks bigger, he has a new coach, the guy's name is Cameron Cheek, and in case you guys don't know about him, he is not really super popular, but he does have great results lately, he is one of Camp Jensen coaches, and I think Matt Jensen says that he is one of the, he is the best uh, coach that works under him, so yeah, it seems like they are doing good together, Blessing and him, it seems like Blessing is really improving rapidly uh, since that uh, Chicago, but it's gonna take him some more time, so we're gonna see him in the three and a half weeks at, uh, I believe, Italy Pro, that's a Yamato Pro, and also uh, in Spain at uh, Europa Pro. So we're gonna be watching Blessing uh, battle it out with uh, Regan Grimes, Goodwito, Nathan Diasha and those guys, and it's gonna be very interesting, it's definitely gonna be much more interesting than Texas Pro would be for Blessing, uh, because he's really not that caliber, he wouldn't compare well against these guys, they would probably destroy him, but, you know, if he goes against Regan and Goodwito, who's a new guy, uh, and Nathan, who was away for a while, that can be interesting, I don't know who's gonna win that. I could see Blessing win, yeah, for sure, I mean, Blessing has a phenomenal physique, very beautiful shape, I mean, those legs from the front, man, those quads are really throwing me off, so, I don't know if he can do much damage with those legs, yeah, and that's really not something he can fix in a couple of weeks, so we're gonna see a, a much more conditioned version of Blessing from Chicago, but not a version with improved lag, he's gonna take an off-season or a few for him to improve that, but yeah, I think he's improving right now as far as conditioning, and uh, we're gonna see a very good version of Blessing. Alright, and for the end of this video, we got a physique update of Nick Walker at, uh, I think, 11 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and as you can see, he's definitely getting much better every time we see this guy. So, he was, I think he was close to 300, he was like 290-something at one point between the Arnold Classic and this Olympia prep. And conditioning was extremely good, it was really, really good. And now you can see that he is getting leaner, he's definitely leaner here than he was a couple of weeks ago, so he's probably pushing it a little bit harder, he says in the caption it's getting interesting now, so yeah, his prep has started, I mean him dieting down, getting shredded, at that part he started, but once again, considering how big he was at what weight between these two shows, let's not even call it an off-season because it only lasted for a couple of months, uh, in that period he actually, I think he managed to pack on a lot of tissue, We'll see how much of that issue will be left at the end, but I think we're gonna see the best version of Nick Walker at this year's Mr. Olympia. Now, this is the guy that was basically sure that he was gonna win the Iron Classic. He was sure that he was gonna win the New York. He also thought that he was gonna win the Mr. Olympia at his first attempt. And so he did win New York, he did win the Arnold. He was fifth at his first Mr. Olympia. Last year he was third at a Mr. Olympia, guys, top 3, and he tried to win the Arnold Classic, and he was stopped by Samson Dauda, so he definitely has a bitter taste in his mouth, and I think he really, really badly wants to change that, so I think he's more driven than anybody in that top 4, really, like, we are comparing him to Hardy, Samson, and Derek, and I think those 3 guys are usually in the conversation to be, to place higher than Nick, I don't think Nick is very often in conversation to win the Mr. Olympia, but don't forget how hungry he might be right now, how driven he is. So I'm expecting him to bring like an insane version of himself. I know he's gonna be the biggest that he ever was. He also kind of spoke about it. He wants to bring a full version of himself, but his conditioning being this good at this point, I know he's gonna be also super shredded as well. So I only hope at this point that his legs are gonna look big, but here, they look fine, they don't look small, they don't look like out of proportion, so yeah, I'm hoping he did make improvements in those legs, we'll see, but like his upper body, I mean those freaking arms, they look insane, like the shoulders, the chest as well, which was a kind of a weak point a couple of years ago, this guy is changing so rapidly from show to show, and I'm expecting him to bring a complete new version 
of the mutant it's gonna be crazy i know that so anybody else who doesn't bring their a game is gonna be in trouble anyways guys tell me what do you think in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more stuff like this and if you guys want to support me there is a link down below in the caption of this video and just click on it and buy whichever supplement from the old school labs you like but make sure to use the code divan which will grant you a 15 percent discount so thank you guys so much all the best and bye bye